Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about dispatcher and web server. So before I start, let me ask you two questions. What is dispatcher and what is the purpose or the role of dispatcher with AEM? Pause this tutorial and think for a minute. You thought correct. You must be having at least few answers among these. Content caching, load balancing, access and security. Again, I will ask you same question at end of this tutorial. Now let's start. Before I start explaining the dispatcher, first let's understand why do we need web server. Then we'll talk about dispatcher. Then you will better understand the need of dispatcher. So we have AEM server, which is a complete server, which has servlet container, which can create a uh, content publish content it can have your document assets and it can run a complete website so we can run complete website using am only then what is the need of server then web server let's understand let's say you are getting a millions of requests and your am processing all the requests all the requests every time so each and every request is going to am but if you think about the performance of a website, serving content is not enough. There must be other factor as well. There are caching, redirect, load balancing, security, access requests. There are multiple factors, even more than those we have, right? So your AEM having expertise to create and hold content, publish content, but not other things. So these things, can be performed by any application, so application or web server. In this tutorial, I'll talk about the web server, which is Apache, for example. So in actual environment, we never directly expose our AEM servers, means the public to end users and request. Then what we do, we place a web server in between end user and AEM. So now you understood you need a web server, right? But the problem here is, problem here is these are two different applications. These are two softwares, right? Which don't know each other. This guy, if you talk about, this guy is a server, web server, and this guy is an AM publish. They don't know each other, right? They are individual software and can run individually. This server can host static websites, even it doesn't need AEM to process content, right? So how this guy or these guy know each other? Let's take an example. Let's say I know English and there's a German guy who know German, right? But we don't know each other's language. So how we can communicate? So we need a person who know both, who know English and who know German. So the same way we need something which know both AM and Apache. So this guy Apache can create caching, load balancing, access security. It can do without AM. These are the basic features of this Apache server. But this guy don't know how to communicate to this guy. So a module made available from Adobe which sits in your web server which actually says okay you don't know this guy I know this guy okay and I'll tell you dispatcher says I'll tell you how to communicate to this guy right how to communicate to AEM right this is a module not a complete application or the software if you know web server apache web server has different module for different functionality so this is a one module provided by adobe okay so what happened this says dispatcher says okay i am a module i will be sitting with you i will be sitting with you that means web server and i there are some configurations will be provided and i'll tell you how to interpret those configurations okay using those configurations i tell you what task you need to perform right dispatcher actually does not perform task 
dispatcher actually tell this server what task needs to perform okay caching is the feature of apache okay apache web server create caching but the dispatcher tell okay there is a configurations provided and create cache as per the configuration provided and i'm telling you how to do it okay what to do it not how to do it this apache already know how to do it same way security access and all the features these features are the core features of apache but here dispatcher tell what to perform and when to perform okay so now with help of dispatcher and configurations provided these guys talk each other okay now let's say how a cycle works whenever a request comes in request comes to apache right but apache don't know how to give response to that request now because we have modules we have already obviously provide some configuration where these things are triggered so this dispatcher says okay i'll tell you from where you need to get content so there are configuration we'll see those in coming tutorials so it will tell go to am fetch that content okay the wrong slide came in so whenever a request comes in the dispatcher tell okay go to am fetch the content and response and give response to end user so this is the cycle happens and it again says there are a lot of things are written in the configurations files so it says okay perform the tasks which are written there for example rather than get giving response to end user cache that content as well as per the rule written as per the written in configurations okay so the next request comes in you can send the response same way if it block the response request so any let's say any request comes in so what dispatcher tell okay don't send that request right this is this is there might be some security issues don't send that i don't want this am content or the am feature to be displayed to end user it blocks and send response back whatever the response is as per the configurations so now you must understood dispatcher is a module in your web server and every web server has a different dispatcher module for example iis msis has a different mod uh, dispatcher module you can get it from the software apache software page okay so basically this this module is tell used to communicate between these two entities right they don't know each other and as per the rules provided now again i will ask you the same two questions what is dispatcher what is the role of dispatcher so initially your answers were correct but now you must know actually what happens what dispatcher does whether it really create cache or it provide instructions what it does so think about it if you have any question please do comment thank you